We're seeing more and more electric vehicle charging stations popping up. And with the Fast Charge California project, we could be seeing even more. So this covers up to 100% of the installation cost for eligible sites. Electric vehicle owners may have an easier time plugging in their cars as more charging sites may be opening up. The Fast Charge California project offers up to $55,000 per charging port for fast chargers, delivering between 150 and 274 kilowatts, and up to $100,000 per port for those delivering 275 kilowatts or more. It's funded by the California Energy Commission's Clean Transportation Program, along with the state's Greenhouse Gas Reduction Fund. A good step in the right direction. At the University of San Diego, I spoke with Associate Professor and Chair of Industrial and Systems Engineering, Jay Kim, about this program. One of the biggest barriers for any uh, entity like uh, convenience stores or businesses to try to you know, install a fast charging station is the upfront cost. So this is one of the first direct ways to kind of incentivize or lower the barrier so that um, business could be um, you know, quickly adopting this technology so that, you know, we, so we could have basically more EVs on the road. The California Energy Commission launched it as part of the California Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Project. According to the CEC, to qualify, sites must be publicly accessible. Eligible locations include convenience stores, retail centers, and other high-traffic destinations. Priority will go towards tribal areas, disadvantaged, and low-income communities, areas they say are often underserved by fast-charging infrastructure. For businesses, this is a big, if you can get them installed, they know it's going to attract certain income level consumers and they will spend money in your premise. And that's, you have a captive audience. They're not going anywhere for 20, 30 minutes. And applications are open now through October 29th. To learn more about this program, just visit the online version of this story at CBS8.com. Esmeralda Perez for CBS8.